Okay, so this one is from a forum. One of the users asked this question as to why he is not seeing any access methods deployed for a simple select statement. Let's take a step back. In SQL Server, when the storage engine has to access data, there are multiple ways how that can be done. For example, you have clustered index scan, clustered index seek, you have non-clustered index scan, non clustered index seek, you have key lookup, etc, etc. These are called as access methods, different ways on how you can access the data that is stored on the disk. Now look at this query, select star from sales order header where sales order ID is null. A similar query was given in the forum and I just created a prototype of it. So if I execute this query, you get nothing out, which is fine because they may not be matching records. But if you jump over to the execution plan, you can see that there is no access method, so to say, deployed here. You can't see a scan or a seek, be it clustered or non-clustered. Let, let's elaborate this a little more. If I tweak this query a bit and I just say sales order ID is equal to one and execute, you're still not getting any output. There are no matching records. But if you jump over to the execution plan, you can see that SQL Server has deployed a clustered index seek to access the data. Likewise, if you write multiple queries, and this is something that you all know very well, let's say if it's if it was something to do with null, for example, uh, again, there is an attribute called currency rate ID. And if I say sales order header where currency rate ID is null, let's go and execute this, jump over to the execution plan, you get a lot of data out, let's jump over to the execution plan, you can again see that SQL Server has deployed a clustered index scan to scan the data, to read the data. If you take another version of the query and again you say sales order number is null, let's do this. This is another attribute, sales order number, jump over to the execution plan. Again, you can see a combination of index seek. This is a non-clustered index seek. And to get the remaining attributes, there is a key lookup also happening. Likewise, if you just tweak this a little more, if I just want sales order number from sales order header, and there is a non-clustered index on this attribute, jump over to the uh, execution plan. And again, you can see a non-clustered index scan. So what you can actually see that for so many given queries, you have a scan or a seek happening. But coming back to this example, where you are writing sales order header, where sales order ID is null, let's go and execute this. SQL Server does this very quickly, no records, jump over to the execution plan. You only see a constant scan there. You're not seeing any clustered index scan or seek. And this is what you would probably expect. And why I say a clustered index scan or seek and most likely a seek because there is a clustered index on sales order ID. And I just showed this example where when you say sales order ID is equal to one, you actually see a clustered index seek happening. So what's the catch with this query where you see sales order ID is null? You have already guessed it, I know. So the answer is there is a primary key on sales order ID. And when you have a primary key and which by default creates a clustered index, and this also means the, that you have the primary key constraint, you can't have null values. So by default, this attribute becomes non-nullable. And SQL Server knows this from the schema. So when you write a query like this, where sales order ID is null, and SQL Server knows that it did not even go and touch the data, because there are no chances that they will be matching records simply because this attribute cannot have null. So for SQL Server, this is really a trivial query, so to say, and, um, and SQL Server can just quickly return the output in sense like no matching records and need not deploy any access method to get to the data. Let's go one step further. And if I take the cursor over the select operator and jump over to properties, I can show you something here in the properties. You get more attributes to see, I mean, uh, plan level information. There is something called as optimization level. And if I zoom in a bit, you can see trivial here. So here you can actually say trivial, full, etc., which means to 
what level has the optimizer gone when it was building the execution plan and for this specific query it was trivial right at stage one sql server knows that this is just very very straightforward and did not spend too much time because there is this primary key constraint and there cannot be null values so this is trivial for sql server all right so this was the answer as to why you do not see access methods being deployed for a query like this just some learning and a way of uh, you know an optimization technique so to say deployed by sql server hope you learned something new happy sql if you like the content give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos most importantly visit sqlmaestros.com there's a lot of sql learning resources out there video courses master classes lab kits ebooks blogs hands on labs and a lot more follow us on twitter at the red sql maestros and myself a underscore bunsel last but not the least do subscribe to our newsletters see you soon in another video goodbye